Here's Darren back with finally some good news. It sounds like there's nothing on the way. Nothing on the way, but it is going to be windy on Monday and it's going to feel cold. And the wind could still be strong enough that it, it, we might have some down trees from this one on, on Monday. Monday. Monday afternoon. Okay. Let's take a look at how that is. First of all, the green we were just looking at, courtesy of this winter and the grasses, that's the view from the top of Mount Diablo right now. Just kind of cloaked in a beautiful emerald green. We're looking out over Concord, which sits out here. And you're looking out over the Carquina Strait there. Just a beautiful view, and that's classic spring. So, the wind on Monday is coming as part of a general pattern that might even try to bring a drop of rain. Look at the future cast. That's on Sunday afternoon, evening. This is not really going to hold together. I don't have rain in the forecast, but just so you know, there's a chance that there's going to be a drop of rain in there on Sunday afternoon. But it's that persistent flow coming out of the northwest that matters more. If you look at the big picture on the satellite imagery and switch to the water vapor, you see what's going on here? Just a general push in the atmosphere our way. And if we put that into the future cast, there's a little bit of energy there. And that doesn't develop into a significant storm, but you can see what it's doing here. It's pulling down those drops of rain, but it's also continually pulling down the wind. And when we watch it on the future cast for wind, you'll see a couple of opportunities here on the big picture first. It gets a bit breezy tomorrow afternoon. That's Sunday. A little breezier than today, but it's going to look different on Monday. Monday, there's more energy on that. And if we watch that again a little more close up, again, here's Sunday, bit of a breeze. Monday, it's going to go purple. And now we're looking at gusts into the upper 30s. Monday afternoon and evening. It's stronger at the coast. Look at the numbers out here. Pescadero, Bodega Bay, Half Moon Bay, 43 mile an hour gusts. So those wind speeds are strong enough that out along the coast, maybe up in the hills of the peninsula, we could have a few more down trees. And especially considering the direction. These are northwest winds, so they're coming right out over the water. There's not a whole lot to stop them or slow them down. There's not a lot of friction out there, so it's going to be stronger along the coast. We still feel it in the bay and kind of feel it inland as well. Those are 30 mile an hour gusts, so that's going to be enough. That it, the main thing it's going to feel, there's going to be a wind chill on it. So even though the daytime highs tomorrow are in the uh, upper 50s and Monday in the upper 50s, on that Monday afternoon when the winds pick up, it's going to feel colder. Morning lows tomorrow are still kind of cold, 36 in the North Bay Valleys. Everybody else goes pretty much low to mid 40s. And when we look at daytime highs for Sunday, it's upper 50s. And you think, oh, okay, that's what we do. And just kind of moving along. This is a good time to remind you these numbers are almost 10 degrees below average for this time of year. We think it's normal to just be around 58, 59 for daytime highs this time of year. It's not. We're getting into April now. It's not unheard of to get well into the 70s in April, above that even. 70 would be average, right around 70 would be average for a lot of those warmest inland spots. And it's just a bit of a reminder, as long as the flow stays like this, everything's coming down from the northwest, we don't warm up a whole lot. But we do see something close to that by the end of next week. Daytime highs, look at the South Bay numbers, upper 60s. And we'll do that for our inland valleys as well, whether it's East Bay or North Bay valleys. And no rain, just a bit of a windy Monday. All right, Brian, back to you.